Hello everyone, this is Jay Yao. Welcome back to Jay Gamer Channel. Today we're gonna do another episode on Hongai Star. Today we're gonna play Ethereum Wars. Yeah, and we'll see how it goes. And I'm hungry. Actually, this is on the same day recording. I just split it into two episodes because I've been recording for three hours. So I would like to just split it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this series so far. And let's go. <laughs> Wilder, hey. Hello, is it Jay Gamer? Yes, I am. That's good. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Wilder from the Inter Astro Peace Corporation Strategic Investment Department. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm contacting you to recommend you a video game. Another promotion. Doesn't your company have other ways for promotion? Haha, <laughs> even with so much advanced technology, text messages are still the best way to develop rapport with people. Now, please allow me to get back to the introductions. This game is called er Ethereum Wars. It's galactic tier, top class AAA, AAA, cultural brands spearheaded by the IPC's marketing depart development department in collaboration with the International Network and International Peace Media. Is it good? Get to the point. Oh, sorry. Here you can use IPC's cutting edge, cu cutting edge Ether copying technology to record any creatures you ever seen inside the Ether coins, and then you can print them out and use them to compete against other players. Let your Ether spirits fight for your glory. How does it sound? It's pretty cool, right? Mm, I'm okay. Just question mark. It doesn't sound as fun as Cosmic Warfare. <laughs> Cosmic Warfare seriously is nowhere near as interesting as Ether Ethereum Wars. Anyway, if you are interested, feel free to come and visit River Town Plaza. Okay. Okay, maybe later. <sighs> Wait. I just want to see how much Delajet we have now. Are we able to make a temple? Maybe we should try before we end this episode. Okay, let's go. Nothing. Bing bing. Oh. This card, Genesis Response. I never had this before. Pass here. Oh, that's it. It's so boring. Ah, that sucks. Uh huh. Who's Wilder, and what's Ethereum Wars? Ethereum is an ad for a game. Looks pretty cool. A game ad? Hmm. Using the IPC's cutting-edge ether copying technology, we can record any creature you've seen inside of an ether coin. Just print it out and compete against other players. Let your ether spirits fight, fight for, your, for glory. your glory. Oh, seems pretty neat, don't you think? Mm -mm. I don't know. Uh, seriously? I mean, yeah. Want to check it out on the way? Okay. Awesome. I've heard that Stellaron Hunter Girl uses this kind of tech. Maybe we can see it in action. Stellaron Hunter Girl? It's at the Rivet oh, Plaza, Kafka. right? Let's hit the road. There's no. Okay. Hey, hey! I knew you'd come. Uh, come on, let's chat about Ethereum Wars. I've been playing it for eighteen years, so ask me anything. I'll tell you everything I know. Okay. What kind of yeah. is this? What kind Can of game you is give this? Give us an overview. Why it'd be my pleasure. I could talk to you about Ethereum Wars all day. No, just cut to the point. Ethereum Wars. The name says it all. It's a collectible card game that uses ether card game tech, and ether oh. coins are what you use to play. Uh. Using an ether coin, players can store creatures they've encountered in the form of an ether and then manifest them as ether spirits to battle against other players. Mm. Collect, battle, train, and upgrade. Uh, That's Ethereum War. I hate this. <sighs> What's Interastral Tournament Festival? Uh, you mentioned something about the Interastral Tournament Festival? 
What is that? Oh, great question! The festival is actually a tournament organized by the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association at the end of each season, and is open to players from across. Gamers will come together to relax, share tips and tricks, and have a blast playing like the game. Like a Pokemon game. However, due to Stellaron's blocking interstellar routes, the festival was changed to online attendance at the last minute. Uh. Nevertheless, for those who insist on attending in person, our offline venue is still open to them. Sounds like the association really cares. Go and try a game out. Any yeah. idea where we can give it a spin? Oh, I can't believe it! I finally managed to successfully promote it! <laughs> <laughs> Which wasn't previously? Uh, is it that difficult? Does this oh, game suck? <laughs> no, of course not. It's just, as someone who's been playing this game for so long, I guess it's hard for those who haven't played it to understand. I swear on my reputation that this game is truly the best form of entertainment out there. Yada, yada, yada. I'll yada. take the rap if you don't like it. Okay. There's no time to waste! Since you're both interested, let me take you to the festival service hall to register your accounts. This way. Beep. Oh, you run so fast. Uh, the atmosphere here is so different now. It's so lively. <laughs> so you guys have been here before? Yeah. The corporation Whoa. recently saw the potential. Take a look. This is where the International Tournament Festival will be held this year. The Ethereum Wars Gaming Association specifically chose this planet to help rejuvenate it and bring it up to date with the latest trends. Oh. Good, good. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> uh, is that... Mr. Giovanni, is that you? Hmm? <laughs> oh, wilder! I was just wondering where you'd got to. And you brought along a handsome gentleman and a beautiful young lady. Welcome to my arena! If I'm not mistaken, you're the trailblazers, right? Okay. So, I presume you two have heard about the Interastral Tournament Festival. Have you come to show off your skills? We just oh, try. Psst. Look at his mask! Pretty cool, don't you think? It just looks suspicious. <laughs> How do you know who we are? Oh, it doesn't matter, my friend. <laughs> what matters is that we're now acquainted. My name is Giovanni de Giorgio de Epsilon, a Giovanni humble de private de trader from Epsilon and the sole sponsor of this year's Interastral Tournament Festival. <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for introducing yourself, Mr. Giovanni de... Giorgio something, something. de something. Yeah. You seem like a pretty important person. What brings you to this kind of place? That's not very polite of much. <laughs> What brings you here? Can we... Can you take off your mask so I can get a better look of you? <laughs> How humorous! As much as I'd like to oblige, this mask is a necessary precaution for me. Let's leave something to the imagination, shall we? Okay, imagination. Now, let me answer Ms. March's question. As you can see, the Interastral Tournament Festival is about to be held on this beautiful, icy planet. And as the sole sponsor of this event, it's only natural for me to come to the tournament venue and check on its operation. Furthermore, I'd also like to get to know the players of the tournament, including yourselves. One can never have too many friends when it comes to doing business in this, uh, van. If you'd be willing to call me friend, it would be a great honor to have you as such. Wow, weird mask, strange vibes, a little out of touch, but he seems friendly enough, right? Uh... Money friendship payments are due on the first of each month. <laughs> Something's yeah, off. Yeah, but he really doesn't seem like a bad guy. How can you tell from the mask? <laughs> I understand your sentiment. In that case, allow me to show you a little more. I believe Wilder has already filled you in on the Ethereum Wars, but if you have any questions about uh, the Interastral yeah, Tournament... Uh, Mr. Giovanni, let me take care of it. It's my job, after all. Don't worry, Wilder. It's only natural that I introduce the festival to my new friends here. You can go ahead and attend to other matters while I show these to a... Uh, thank you, Mr. Giovanni. I'll be off then. Feel free to ask me about the Interastral Tournament Festival in the venue. Is there... Why do I feel like you're up to something? <laughs> You've certainly got quite the active imagination. Rest assured, I'm just passionate about gaming. I love observing how players compete and cooperate with you. I have no hidden agendas, I can assure you of that. I swear on my reputation and my mask. Uh, why is this place? Bellabog's weapon testing ground. At least while renovating this place, we stumbled upon quite a few automaton production lines, all covered in thick layers of dust. <laughs> Several hundred years ago, the people of Bellabog tested the performance of their combat, but now, under my sponsorship, the IPC and the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association have transformed this place. 
Is this project compliant with the regulations? Of course! This project has been approved personally by... As for whether they received the approval of the Supreme Guardian, well, that's all I can share about that at the moment. Is there anything else you'd like? Is this festival going to be held Indeed. here? Indeed. Okay. Have you seen the big circular platform down below? When uh -huh. the championship commences, this space will serve as the arena during the festival. You'll have the chance to mingle with players from all over. Ah, yes, my apologies. I should have mentioned this earlier, but because of the well-known Stellaron problem, many players won't be able to attend in person. So it's likely you'll mostly encounter familiar faces. Okay. Too. It's simple. Space. First, you need to register your account at a terminal in this festival service hall. Oh, even after you've successfully created and registered your account, I'll delve into all the details of the... F Actually, I have a question. You've been explaining a lot about the venue, but I'm still confused about the game. C Why, of course, not a problem. I'll make an exception just for you. You can... Hmm? What's all the commotion? Hey, it's worth. Hand over that coin. Oh. You little brat! Who said you could touch this? Huh. But, but this is mine! I found it on the ground! Hey, that's enough! Picking on a kid, are we? Uh, outworlder lady! Careful! They're dangerous! <laughs> Don't sweat it! Leave them to us! I say, my IPC friends, I can see how captivated you are by that coin. Am I right in assuming that you're also Ethereum Wars player? <laughs> Where did that masked dude come from? And what does it have to do with you, whether I'm a player or not? Exactly! What's it to you, sneaking around with a mask on? You must be some kind of creep! <laughs> what I'm getting at is this. Since you're both players, why not have uh, a showdown to settle okay, the matter? Okay. But instead of this young boy, I propose that this gentleman and Miss March be the ch- If they lose, the coin will naturally become yours. And you can do as you- But if you lose, I would kindly ask that you gracefully accept defeat and refrain from causing any more trouble in my arena. Sounds like a great idea. How about I use a bad and resolve our def- <laughs> But I never played this game before. Uh, not to worry. Mr. Giovanni will explain it all, right? <laughs> Why, of course. I assure you that I will- Here are a few beginner-level ether spirits for you. They'll help if you have trouble handling these beginner spirits. It quick, might quick. indicate I just that this play game, game isn't the best choice for you. <laughs> you. You're in for a rude awakening. Prepare to face the might of. Begin showdown. Here's a case of our full strength. At Ethereum Wars, you and your opponents will engage in a battle using Ether Spirit. Either spirit can be sorted into mechanical, humanoid, and ab aberrant types that, that counteract each other. Utilizing that counteracting, counteracting relationship is the key to victory. Okay. Basic attack can recover skill points and charge the ultimate. Okay. Why? Consume skill by and charge the ultimate. The enemy is fully charged when, uh, and will unleash a powerful ultimate. Okay. So, how do I. How do I. Oh. Sufficient energy? Okay. Either spirit can be sorted into humanoid, mechanical, and aberrant types. Okay, humanoid spirits. Okay, okay. Pay attention to how different can contact each other. Okay. okay. So. Okay. Attacking enemies of a counteract type deals 1.5 damage while attacking enemies of a counteracting type. Okay. Okay, I think I guess I know. I burn, okay.
Okay. We sure showed those troublemakers who's boss. Are you okay, Eric? Thanks, Miss March. <laughs> I I'm fine. Why were they threatening you? I was wondering the same thing. Why would they pick on someone half their size? I, I don't know. I just found this coin. Hmm. Based on the appearance of the coin alone, it's difficult to discern any significance. As for who it belongs to, hmm. that's all. Didn't they mention something else? Topaz? Yeah, they mentioned Miss Topaz. Oh, I know. Uh, they said they were members of Miss Topaz's support squad. They said they'd gather the strongest ether spirits from across the universe and give them to her so she could win huh, the tournament. Okay. Uh huh? Would Miss Topaz stoop so low? <laughs> I can't believe she'd be that desperate. I think there must be some kind of misunderstanding. I have had some interactions with Miss Topaz, and this doesn't seem like her way of dealing. I suppose that means this coin doesn't belong to Miss Topaz after all. I wonder whose it could be. Indeed. <laughs> there is no information on the ether coin that could help us trace it back to its owner. It seems returning it to its rightful owner will be quite the challenge. I, uh, I think it'd be better if you kept you don't want it? I have no clue what this is or how to play that Ethereum Wars. I bet you guys can find a better use for this. I see. Well, when you put it that way, looks like we'll hold on to it for now. What do you think, Mr. <laughs> I have no objections. Trading After and all, training. trading and training are all part of Ethereum Wars. It's settled then. I need to go home. Uh, he just wandered off. Maybe we ought to take him home? Oh, no need to worry. The majority of the IPC's employees are quite professional. Wouldn't dream of tarnishing their cup. Now, I suggest that both of you summon the coin's ether spirit. After all, it's the first one that you've truly acquired for yourselves. Okay. It'd be nice for you to- Oh, you're right! Uh, let me see. Uh, ah, there we go. It's a warp trotter? A warp trotter. Hmm. This is quite a rare ether spirit, but they're not very powerful. Why would those IPC folks be after it? Uh-huh. Looks like the little guy's scared. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? D did we do something wrong? Don't worry, Ms. March. It's likely the Warp Trotter is just naturally timid. I must say, though, this one is a bit peculiar. Ether spirits are usually just digital representations of creatures. They shouldn't possess any specific traits. According to their programming, ether spirits are supposed to obediently follow a player's commands and faithfully execute their instructions. Which doesn't seem to be the case right now. Okay. Huh? So what now? Uh, uh, maybe you could try giving them a command? What? Draw the use attacker. <laughs> uh, looks like it- Hmm, I see. They're likely acting this way due to some sort of data anomaly or discrepancy. It would be best to report this issue to the Ethereum Wars project team, so they can address it accordingly. Uh, okay. But wouldn't that mean getting rid of them? Uh, no way! We can't hand them over to the IPC! Sounds like a plan. Uh, awesome! Uh, alrighty then! Let's take this little fellow with us to the festival! Now I think it's time we came up with- Um... I'll lend you an ex- Puffball? Bubble, puffball, bubble. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to try something diff- That's awesome. Oh, look, look! They're reacting! See Alrighty then. <laughs> Even though I don't know where you're from or how you got here, let's go and win that turn. Of course, it'd be even better if we could unravel the mist- I don't know. <laughs> well, isn't this a delightful turn? This is the Ethereum Wars Player Terminal. Give it a try. Uh, you must prove your potential in the festival. Head to the various victory zones. Okay. Uh, this is so long. Okay, I have to stop here. Uh, it seems kind of complicated. Have you got the hang of it yet? Nope. 
Uh, back to copying me. <laughs> I wouldn't worry yourselves too much. Remember, practice makes to participate in the tournament championship. Make your way to the various victory zones and increase your victory rating. Complete the trials in each victory zone to earn all of the mastery marks. Please excuse me if you may. I have a few other facilities to inspect to ensure the festival runs smoothly. If you have any problems, the staff at the service hall will be more than happy to assist you. I wish you all a memorable festival. Okay. okay. Looks like we've learned all the essentials. Let's, let's head towards the first victory zone. But my one is just a pig. Maybe the championship got in there. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this is it! The entrance to the corridor. I just looked up some tips on the interastral network. These victory zones are leased by the IPC and the Gaming Association from various ready to have. <laughs> oh, can't wait to find out what's inside these victory. Hey, look! It's Mr. Giovanni! Again. Mr. Giovanni! I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you two move fast. Well... Oh, great question. As the event sponsor, uh. I'm tasked with inspecting all facilities. And this... Am I correct in saying that this is your first time? In case you <laughs> want to hear the rules again, players can enhance their victory rating by engaging in various activities within the victory zone. Collecting roaming data is a vital aspect because it's the only way for players to... Since you're both here, let me give you a lesson on gathering roaming data. Oh, really? Oh, it'd be my pleasure. Assisting you players in swiftly understanding the gameplay is I will give you this ether data, Blaze Out of Space. With this, collecting roaming data should be much easier for the both. There happens to be a good number of roaming data targets in the vicinity. Oh, there's too much talking. Come on. So what do we do here? Okay. What do we do here? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, we are. Okay. We are healer. I'm collected. I have this guy, is it? It looks like your team isn't complete yet. I strongly suggest you both better gather more roaming data okay. and strengthen my team. I'm weaker, right? So I rather just support. <laughs> what does it do? Nice. Killing himself? Oh. Oh, it's changing element, is it? Okay. Cool. Okay, I don't know why it's that.
You have not unlock. Victory is low. To where? Oh, that side. This one. Impressive! I see you're both living up to your renowned trailblazer reputation. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> It's all thanks to your brilliant teaching. Yikes! We talk alert. <laughs> Let me see what next. Ah, that's it. Now I remember. I prepared a few ether expansion. Chips. You can use your ether coin to read the data on these chips. They allow your ether spirits to equip various abilities. Attacks the debuff enemy. Okay. Also recommend this one. I don't know. Um, but I just put this one then. Okay. No. Why are you? You play Ethereum, Ethereum Wars too? You have. Let's have an Ether, Ether Spirit battle, okay? Don't ask me why when your, our eyes meet, we have to battle. That's the rule of. Okay. Excuse me. Hey, everyone's here. You and Little March too. What lucky charm lured these two great heroes our way? They're all Pela. Has it really been that long? It's great to see you too. Behold, two championship contenders. It would seem the stage is set. Huh? What? Servals, the championship contender for this victory zone. <laughs> I guess it's time we got our act together. Is this an amber? <laughs> Still got the sense of humor. It's been a while, outsider. You won't get away with it this time. Huh? So is this game already popular in Bellabog? Uh, okay. Yeah, but I guess no one in Bellabog had much of a clue about video games before the IPC sh- I gotta say, Ethereum Wars is really uh, fun. I've been grinding- I wish you'd put the same effort- So, Miss of- Totally used to it. Pela and I have already struck fear into the hearts of more than a few newbies. Okay. Should we really be bragging about some- <laughs> <laughs> It's good that you've gotten used to it. Since you're all here, how about we let Miss Serval and Miss Pela our championship- No problem. The rules are actually quite simple. To start with, I've made some minor tweaks to the snowshine lamps, making it possible for heat to be transferred between them. Okay. Just pop a thermic core into a lamp, and all the nearby lamps will light up simultaneously. 
The puzzle for you to solve is to use the limited number of thermic cores at your disposal to illuminate all of the designated snowshine lamps scattered around the victory zone. Experience is always the best teacher. So go ahead and try for yourselves with these two. What? In the corridor of fading echoes, victory zone, Trailblazer need to use the flame transference features of the modified lamp to ignite all the lamps, blah blah blah. Bearing the marks, okay. When the lamp is ignited, it will create a spherical thermal area that can ignite all the other unlit lamps within its boundaries. You can push the snow shine lamps and place them atop of the armory boxes within the gameplay area and ignite other lamps that remain out of reach. Okay. Okay. You see? Sir Ball's modifications to the lamps allow you to illuminate lamps that are out of your reach. You'll find several lamps like this around the victory zone. Once you've illuminated all of them, seek up me and Sir Ball. We'll be ready to- But don't think we'll just hand over the mastery mm. mark without a fight. You'd better make sure you're ready. Hmm. After seeing this special modification, I can't help but wonder, do all victory zones have a similar kind of set? Of course! After all, it's just another part of the tournament. Each... <laughs> I can feel the... Brace yourself, Serval! I'm about to rock your world! <laughs> uh, yikes! Everyone's okay. so fired up! Oh, I saw serious. Let's put a happy face. Happy little fire on this place. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Woohoo! Yeah! Look, jeez! Did you join the Antimatter Legion when I wasn't looking? <laughs> <laughs> the enthusiasm is cute, but don't think just because you're still figuring out there are three thermic cores. You'll need them to solve the puzzles in the victory zone. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> now that please excuse me. I must Thank you, Mr. Let's get moving. Time. <laughs> okay. Take a look! It looks like there's a lamp behind that wall. Uh, there should be a lamp nearby. Find a nice lamb, where is it, lamb? Uh, seriously? Who puts a lamp there? Uh, there's no way we can directly load the. Why don't we try using the lamp's heat transferring properties? Let's go. How do we go there? 
Hmm? And you are Victory Zone challengers, I presume? Looks like you haven't bothered to light up all the lamps in this area yet. Okay. It seems we won't be able to proceed and Okay. Hold on. Ah, I'm there. Okay, okay, no problem. Just play already. <laughs> Dying. Oh Don't die. Do I need to upgrade things? How about you? Oh. Oh, we don't have it. Okay. Okay, come on. I didn't even you know, take longer than I expected. Things wrong again. <clears throat> okay, I'm hungry and it'd be fast right now. Just push it down. Okay. Come on. Uh -huh. So that's how it's done. Come on, let's go find the next one. How do I open that test? Uh, 
isn't this lamp a little too obvious? There must be another lamp hiding around here. Okay. Go. Uh, mm, oh, I just had an idea. Maybe we could try making this gear bridge rotate. Oh, it's over there. Oh, enemy. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Everything has a challenge. And okay, I need to quickly. I guess I need to cook dinner. Okay, so I'm very hungry right now. I don't have anything to add, right? Should we give this? Didn't know it would be so long, I thought it would be just short while. Oh, it's raining outside. Controller, please. Let me go to that side. Clockwise. And clockwise. Oh, there's a big treasure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just received a message from Sir Ball and Pale. It's time to show those contenders who the real boss is. Okay, wait. I just want to see my screen because I think it's dark right now. And I hate my lamp. Doesn't work today. Try so hard.
Ah non là-bas. Euh... Chip. Wait. When the virus first turn begins, immediately regenerate energy. You can have this one. I guess. Or should I give it to him? Let me give it to him. Uh, I mean, this thing. Yes. <coughs> Man, I'm so hungry. Oh, it's the trailblazer. Oh. Okay. Uh, we're here to. Ch but that is what we're here for. <laughs> well, well, someone's feeling pretty cool. Mm. Well then, it's time you felt the power of Mc. Okay. The essence of turn-based games lies in the numbers. So you better get ready to witness the precision of my calculations. Oh god. <laughs> Things are heating up. I don't know, let's do this. Is that? Uh -oh. Time to channel some rock star energy. Taunted, okay, great. Come on, 
on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, God. Fine, let's just stop. Let's do it. was intense. I can't remember the last time I- How did you manage that? <clears throat> I guess you just- Looks like- yeah. <laughs> Looks like even more rock and roll. Here, take it. The corridor of fading echoes map- I have something else for you also. Oh. An ether expansion chip. <laughs> Look how happy they are. Mm -mm. A warp trotter? That's a pretty rare ether spirit. Okay. But they were acting kind of strange in the battle. Is there something wrong with them? <laughs> uh, to be honest, we don't actually know, but it seemed like some IPC troublemakers were out to get them. Serval, you seem to know more about Aether Spirits than us. Can you tell us what's up with this little guy? Sorry, I'm not quite sure either. IPC tech is pretty complex. The There's some principles I'm, I'm still trying to wrap around. Okay. I see. Perhaps if we were able to find Miss Topak... <laughs> they're just too precious. And they're counting on you for protection. <laughs> Take them with you and snatch the... <laughs> Thanks, Pela. We'll do our best. Uh, speaking of champions, have you heard the story of the mysterious... The player? Has my fame reached such high... <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, who's that? Are they some sort of gaming prodigy? <clears throat> well... Well, this player isn't a stranger. We know them too, but... Uh, Mr. Giovanni has asked us not to divulge too much information. Okay. Giovanni? I wonder what he's up to. We're not entirely sure. Is there something, about, something adding about adding an element, adding an element. Okay. to the story? Okay. In any case, if your goal is to also become the champions, champions? then it's likely you'll run into them sooner or later. Remember, okay. train hard and relish every moment. <laughs> okay. Oh, now that battle was really intense. Those puzzles were such a blast too. I think I'm hooked. Ah, <laughs> mm, <not> really? <laughs> If you're not into it, could you at least keep me company? <laughs> Please? Just kidding. Congratulations, J Gamer and Miss March. My, I heard you beat the, com the championship contender. Now that you have your mastery marks, you qualify to challenge the Overlord Inter Spirits in the corridor of Fading Echoes. Overlord Inter Spirits sounds pretty tough. Yeah, they are most powerful and than the average roaming data that can be acquired in the ordinary days. Do I need to pull them from Gacha? Come out already. No, no, it's not like that. We don't have monetization system. Okay. Let me explain. Basically, each victory zone has a sealed dimensions that only players who have earned their mastery marks can access to. Okay. I'm hungry. I just don't want to read anymore. <laughs> The roaming data, the roaming data for the Overlord Eater Spirits are hidden in in those dimensions. Defeat them once you get the all their data. Why you didn't tell us earlier? We're already on our way back to have a rest. My bad. I didn't expect you to have get your mastery mark so soon. Well, feel free to challenge them in the previous victory zones when you have some free time. These powerful Eater Spirits will come in handy in the future duels. Okay. I hear sound. Oh, there. Okay. Looks good. Someone there. I see.
my main god okay so so now it's not done yet oh i thought it's over Ugh. So long for one round, I thought, you know, I thought the first stage would be easy. Okay, okay, let's upgrade this. So, do you have anything? Greatly increase the chance of being attacked upon entering the battle game in the shoe. Shoe absorb. Okay, everyone equip something better than that. Okay. I'm so hungry. Yes. Finally done. Lieutenant. Hmm, let me see. Our next stop should be the cloud for victory. But it's already getting late. Yes. How about I mean it's not often we get the chance to stay there. Okay. Oh great. <laughs> I just wanna go home as well. Okay. Step and exit. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Eterian Wars episode. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. It will notify you whenever there's a new video. And I will see you when I see you next time in the next video. Bye bye.